Further manipulating layers. Now layer management goes further than previously we mentioned. Layers can be named, locked, hidden, shown and nested, known as ch child layering. Okay, first one, renaming layers. Well, let's open up import from the cloud and we want layers naming and locking. Let's bring that one in. Load layers naming locking and there we go. Now I'll bring that down a little bit so it's all on the screen. Remember this is iPad. This is the um, photo workbook but I'm using iPad. From the layers panel select the lower of two layers named pixel. There's the layers panel. Now the lower two named pixel, there's pixel layer and pixel layer. Now it says in the book, click once on the layers name and a white input field will appear. Type eye color and press return. Well you can see whatever you do it doesn't. So what you have to do is go to that option there. The three dots at the top of the list. The layers op layer options. And you'll see the word pixel. And you can then type in, you tap on pixel and type E-Y-E-C-O-L-O-U-R. Eye color, click OK. Now you can see, oh, I've misspelt it. E-Y-E, eye colour. And there you go. Back to layer options. You can now see that the pixel layer is called eye colour. Now select the other pixel layer and rename this layer tone boost. That's that layer there. Go to the three dots, click on pixel, and we'll call that one Tone Boost. Spelled it correctly this time. Click on OK, go to Layer Options, and there we go. Now the second part of this two pages, page 128 and 129, is locking and unlocking layers. With the newly named Tone Boost layer selected, click Lock and Unlock. You can see that there. Tone Boost. Now, how do we lock it? This is an interesting question. Go up there, click that one, and there it is. You see the, the hamburger menu at the top, near the pin. Click the hamburger menu, and there's lock. Now the layer is locked. So it's quite different than the desktop version. You've got to go find the commands. Select the Move tool. This is uh, part two. Select the Move tool from the Tools panel, and try to drag the layer around. Notice how it cannot be manipulated. Now we're on the Move tool, View tool. Move tool is that one there, the arrow. Move tool. Can we move the Tone Boost layer? We can. Now, why do you suppose that is? To unlock the layer, click the lock icon on the layer entry and try moving it again. Now it's unlocked. Aha! Now what we're looking for is to lock that again. Hamburger. And lock the layer. The layer is locked and the area is selected. Can we move it around now? Nope. We cannot move that around. 
Now I've got the wrong layer. Tone boost layer, the lock layer, cannot move it around. Unlock it. And we can. Go back to there. Tone boost is selected. Hamburger menu, lock. And now the lock's back on, you'll see the little crosses in the corner, which means you can't move it around. Now, let's unlock that layer again. And you just, in this case, you just click the lock, tap the lock, and it unlocks it. Now, nesting layers and, convert to, and converting to child layers. Drag the top vignette filter layer over the background layer's thumbnail until a vertical blue bar is visible just to the right of the thumbnail. That's that one there. Drag that down there, drag it to there, over the top of it. Now it says until a vertical blue bar is just visible. But you drag it to the middle. There is no vertical blue bar. So you drag it to the middle and release it. And now it's nested. Release the button or release the layer to nest the vignette filter into the pixel layer. So the vignette is nested into the pixel layer. The vignette filter will now only affect this pixel layer rather than the layers above the pixel layer. Note how the vignette's appearance changes. Take that back up the top. And you can see around the outsides, in, in the top, bottom, right um, corners, it changes. Now I've put that under curves adjustment. Let's get it up there, right at the top. Now let's drag it down and put it back where we had it in there and you can see the background vignette changes slightly it's very marginal but it does change now drag it back up the top drag the vignette filter back out into the main layer stack into the top again and you'll see it change this time you see the bar moves up goes right to the top and there it is now, you have to be pretty quick to see it change. Now, showing and hiding layers. Click the checkbox to the right of the HSL shift adjustment. There's second from the bottom, there's the HSL shift adjustment. Check the checkbox. Notice a dramatic tonal difference in the image. In other words, uncheck it. And you can see dramatic tonal difference. Check the layers checkbox again to show the difference. Now grouping layers is the last stage I believe. Yep, the last stage. Select the eye color layer. That's that one there. And you can see it surrounds the eye. Now for the last option, we've just done showing and hiding layers, and this one is grouping layers. So let's show the layers. Select the eye color layer, and press the shift key and click the tone boost layer. Well, you can't do that here, so you select the tone boost layer above by swiping to the right. Oh, too much. There we go, and you can see that they are now both selected. Did you see? I just held my finger on the tone boost layer and swiped it to the right slowly. Click on group layers, the third button from the right. That one there. Group, ungroup. Now it's grouped. Single click this new layer and rename it to be brushwork. Well, we can't single click it, but what we do do is go to layers and rename the group to brushwork. There we go. 
So now when you look at the layers, layer options, we have brushwork, which is made up of tone boost and eye color. And there's your grouped layers.